Hello and welcome to Inside Story. I'm Haling Chan. Many people think flight attendants have a glamorous life, but it's often not the case, especially when it comes to dealing with uncooperative passengers. Well, a local airline has started giving its cabin crew martial arts lessons in what it says is to improve their emergency response skills, but instead it has some travelers thinking about what flight safety really means. For years, being a stewardess was seen as a glamorous life. Jetting around the world, wearing fancy outfits, and catering to an exclusive breed of traveler. But those days are gone, replaced by budget travel, crowded cabins, and unruly passengers. Not to mention the threat of international terrorism. So it takes more than just a smile to survive the sometimes unfriendly skies. These days, flight attendants need a little extra spring in their step. Wenchun Captain Cool. Um, they provide services. At the same time, they also need to deal with different emergency situation on our flights. And if you are the passenger, you probably psychologically you think more safe. Uh, you are protected by a well fit nurse um, cabin cool. Local carrier Hong Kong Airlines is making it mandatory for its in-flight teams to learn Wing Chun, a martial art characterized by its close-range combat style made up of kicks and punches. Being an, uh, an airline operator, uh, the product must be safety, punctuality, and good service, and, and all that. And funny enough, as an airline, girls always the first, first group of people that you meet, and that's part of the product. It's one of the oldest Chinese martial arts, and notable practitioners include Bruce Lee, who began his training in martial arts with legendary Wing Chun master Ip Man. It turns out Ip Man was also the inspiration for the flight attendant training program, after the airline's business strategist bumped into the writer of the award-winning film about the martial arts master. Suddenly, I had this idea. Hey, you know, it would be great. It would be great if we can train our girls, right, to to know Wing Chun, because our slogan is very young and very fresh and very Hong Kong. And Yip Man is very, very Hong Kong, and is young. And we're having Wing Chun and Kung Fu is is energy, is capability, and is flexibility in a way. You know, so. Product as the hero. Suddenly, this this group of girls are not just a, a group of girls asking you tea, coffee, or something, right? These are the group of girls that they 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 can really know how to handle things. These are some new recruits for the airline. Before they become flight attendants, they must complete six hours of Wing Chun training. For many of them, it's the first time they've done any form of martial arts. They start with a hundred punch warm up, then a lecture about a posture for endurance. Over three classes, these flight attendants will learn the first form in the Wing Chun system, called Sunim Tao, and some self defense techniques. Wing Chun is suitable for on a flight because martial arts uses very small movements. You don't need a lot of space to be, in order to be able to do the, the movements. Wing Chun, you don't have to be, um, you know, a muscular man in order to do Wing Chun. Wing Chun teaches you how to use power economically. So, very, very um, thin uh, girl with no muscles can actually beat a very muscular man. But is six hours really enough? Six hours a, a day or a week or? No, yeah, the whole training program is six hours. Oh, then maybe a bit short, yeah, to me, yeah, to maybe a, a, a bit short, if a six, uh, six hour, really. John O'Mac began practicing Wing Chun in 1979 from one of Ip Man's direct disciples, Chao Zi Chuan. He is the VTA Wing Chun Athletic Association. Wing Chun Athletic Association and most of the uh, Ip Man's direct disciples were there. His grandmaster Ip Man. Yeah, my Sifu. 
He is worried that flight attendants may make situations worse by not knowing the limits of their power. The consequence, if really from block, if the drones come out, because do not know the, 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 um, how to use the, co the force correctly, just good enough to control, just over, over force it, then break it. So uh, I don't know what was the legal liability. It may be dangerous if, uh, if, if the opponent is very aggressive. If further you irritate them to, to be more aggressive, you will hurt, hurt, hurt them. Yeah, like that, yeah. There is even a chance that flight attendants may hurt themselves. The, the, the form is not like that. They do not find a, uh, a counterpoint. A punch, it will be, you know, which is the counterpoint that we want to hit attack people with the knuckles. With the knuckles, the form cannot go out. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't go first. If you switch your hand, your form, then you have to put the uh, real one. Two and then three and put on here. This is to flat and this is a local. And uh, they haven't they haven't trained on that they they, they punches something like that, something like that. <laughs> yeah. toe is the basic that you the first form to build you up or to develop you as a muscle artist. You have to build up your correct stance, correct body structure, uh, and all the defending and attacking the techniques in the student invention is contained in the student tone form. And also, not only that, you have the underlying concepts uh, of invention uh, embodied in the student tone form, like the body square facing, the facing concept, the center line concept. All this is very important in fighting. It's also in also invention, and also all these concepts make invention so effective. It's just also make uh, Wing Chun good, yeah. That is, you can even a uh, woman is wearing a, uh, a skirt, still can fight. <laughs> yeah, because the stance, the stance like that. Yeah, you don't have to have to make high, high kick or or move a uh, big move or sit very low. Just sit down or how. And his take on the techniques that flight attendants are learning? This is controlling, yeah. Then this is controlling. This is unlocking controlling. If people just want to capture, then they, they just twist it like that. People grab you, I think it's simulated if people try to catch you with your, 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 your big hand arm controlling. Then this not uh, even a bit attacking, actually it's attacking, but it looks it's, it's controlling, it's, it's, it's controlling uh, the, the opponent. Yeah, this self defense by, uh, I mean, say by controlling. Right. By controlling, this is not a strike, but it's arm, arm grappling technique. It's arm grappling technique. If people grab your hand, Grab your hand, then they, they, they use this to co to, con to co control it. Yeah, but uh, it's very quite quite a actually it can be quite a very, quite a deadly technique. Why is it deadly? Very painful. Make you feel, make you very painful. Yeah. Mac agrees that Wing Chun is particularly suited for female practitioners because it is developed based on a sequence of small movements to use the opponent's force to your advantage. If you make a big movement, you will easily use up your energy for women. So all the design of the system is for more effective uh, fighting because a woman cannot last for long, uh, fight for long. Just effective, quick, pop, one, two, five, finish, <laughs> like, like that. So in what situations can Wing Chun help flight attendants counter problems? Maybe some people grab from behind, grab from behind like that, then we see them away. I might control that. Yeah. So another situation, maybe a troublemaker come to come to touch the fire attendant, then Wing Chun's direct strip line. Well, but he is to go straight. So another similar situation, maybe you grab it, you take I mean, yeah. So uh, this is uh, also uh, related to Wing Chun's way of uh, Using the opponent's opponent's force that they leverage on the uh, leverage on the uh, on their joints by turning uh, push push and pull the force. This is related also to invention the system. So far, dozens of flight attendants from the airline have completed the Wing Chun training and have been deployed into service. The airline says they receive about three cases of drunk passengers every month.
But will real-life kung fu action be added to the list of in-flight entertainment? I don't think um, I will carry out Wing Chun um, in flights because it hurts people. I, I, I'm afraid I will hurt people. So uh, we will um, be more polite and with smile, I think it can avoid most of the conflicts. So probably in most cases, um, I don't think we will apply the Wing Chun we learned here in flight. Well, I think it is good for our health, particularly we will be a cabin crew and it can uh, help in our health and um, it can increase the flexibility of our joints according to the seafood. And I hope um, uh, learning Wing Chun not only can help us to reduce our uh, work stress, it can also uh, reduce the chances of us to get injured in flight. Yeah. I think uh, Wing Chun Fang help a lot. It's very useful uh, because we always uh, meet some unruly passenger, especially some uh, drunken passenger. They ask the alcohol uh, frequently. Uh, sometimes they maybe some have some misbehavior, and it, they can uh, learning Wing Chun can protect ourselves. I think the main point is physical touch. Yeah. Uh, for male crew, maybe you can touch my hand, I can accept it. But for female cabin crew, touch the hand, um, it's not accept. Um, sometimes maybe touch shoulder, and then Wing Chun can protect or push them <laughs> uh, to control them. So it's unlikely passengers will ever get to see the flight attendants pulling any Wing Chun moves, but will it at least make them feel safer? I certainly don't think it's more safe because uh, safety comes from the aircraft and, and the pilot and, and the other stuff. It doesn't come with uh, uh, the attendants knowing martial arts, so it doesn't leave, it certainly doesn't make me more safe. No, I think probably the best, the best thing is you know like U.S. that they have you know like a police a policeman you know inside the fly. I think it's going to be better because sometimes you know like the flight attendants are girls, it's, and it's not because you know a girl has you know no power. But probably, you know, policemen, you know, we know, you know, what to do, you know. So, I don't know. I think it's not going to be a waste of time. But I don't think, you know, it's like, I don't know. I think they have to put, you know, more effort, you know, in uh, different things. Uh, for myself, I don't do martial art at all. And um, I'm not that into sport, so I might not be able to protect myself in a way. And if I know someone around me, no martial art or the likes, I feel safety.